Hello everybody, this is the one and only Mr. LP up in Live and Global Media. We are here live in Glen Allen, Virginia, a little bit outside of Richmond here in the Short Pump area at Lido Pizza. And I want to thank everybody, including the Cross and Coleman group, for supporting us. And we are here with a wonderful panel. And our today's discussion is about ladies. Why are you single? You know, there's all these myths you should, shouldn't, pluses, minuses, but we're gonna cover as much as we can fit today's topic. Starting from my left, um, I wanna sit here and let everybody introduce themselves. Um, I'm Cam Johnson. Some of you know me from the Conversation Bar, um, AKA Miss Dateologist. <laughs> That's what people know me as, mm -hmm. my events. So I am happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Luke Turner. Um, new to the scene, but I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful to be here as well. All right. Hey, everybody, this is your girl, Raw Silk, the realist um, from the Sister to Sister Can We Talk show, the Rules Relationship show, and just all around town girl, I guess. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Hey, my name is Joe Lewis, also known as Big Bro Joe from Ain't No Have Stevens and Legacy Internet Radio. How y'all doing today? All right. First of all, thank y'all so very much for coming out. Your check is in the mail after publishing Care House <laughs> and everything else. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, look, we're actually getting a check, not the ones that comes on a prepaid card that you gotta spend and pay a fee. Okay, Ooh. that that's just wanted to try. Well, today's topic, as I was saying, is like, are you so why are we single? And I want to give it just a general question now that some people think that you know I should have a right to be single. Why is it such a big issue? And I'm here to say that there's nothing wrong with being a single. But why is it okay to be single? Um, it's, it's very okay to be single. I was, in my 21 years of being single, um, I was hit with a lot of things. And I actually put myself out there to let people analyze me and to say, you know, give me a reason why I, they think I'm single. And I like the shady looks. Um, <laughs> but I was told that, one, I wasn't over my ex. That being my ex-husband, lies you tell. Um, <laughs> I was told that I, I was difficult to get along with. What's his name? No, I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> right. 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 There's several ways. <laughs> <laughs> that one is a list. But, um, that I wasn't a people person. Everybody knows I'm a people person, so that couldn't be yet. But it was just giving me so many reasons. And then I told one gentleman that I, I'm very happy, I'm very content, and he said, that's just a lie that you tell yourself. Mm. You're not oh, happy. Uh, he told me that point blank. Like, that is just a lie. Nobody's happy. He's single. Oh, my. That's, yeah. that's yeah. wrong. That's mm. wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Lugu, is it okay for women to be single? Is it okay? Absolutely. Yeah. I feel it's uh, based on your preference. Like she said, if you're happy with your current status, then by all means, at the end of the day, that's what matters. Your happiness. You don't need to seek approval from others in order to feel validated with yourself. Um, you said so? Absolutely not. I totally disagree. <laughs> I totally disagree because God didn't design us to be single. I think that it's okay that if you want to take time for yourself mm -hmm. and enjoy yourself and find yourself and know what you want so you shouldn't be jumping into the dating pool and having disaster after disaster. But I agree with the gentleman who told her that I think, and that may not be this queen's testimony, but the majority of women lie to themselves to comfort themselves about I'm happily single, but then they're home laying at lonely at night crying and crying on their girlfriend um, ear about why me, why couldn't I get or whatever and stuff. So you can't have it both ways. I think that if we go by the, the scheme of things, we would design, there's a mate out there for everybody. I just think that people fall into lust before they fall into love. And if they stop bed hopping and start really looking at what it is they want, then they will find a mate that they were looking for. Who's that, Joe? Well, now that we done got all that out the way. <laughs> I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, boy, oh, it's going to hurt my soul to say this, but I'm actually going to agree with this, my two panelists sitting farther away than raw silk but the reason I'm, and I'm gonna say that constructively I agree with what you all say but I also agree with raw silk mm -hmm. said we have to make a determination there's nothing wrong with being single until right. something presents itself right. to not be single for okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. exactly so, so I not mean, just being single just for the sake of being yeah. single exactly. nobody exactly. wants to be single, single no. because I, like she said our whole contrast as human beings is to procreate and be with somebody mm -hmm. we need that interaction you know, they, they, it's it's a fact that people lose their minds quicker when they're by themselves because 
you know, you only have three people to talk to, me, myself, and I, mm -hmm. and you don't give yourself good advice. That's true. When you have somebody else to interact with, it's always better. You can bounce things off of people. You can do things here and there. Being single until you find that person, find that soul, find that medium to help you cultivate what you have is what I believe is the better term, not just being single, because we do have some bitter people out there, and that's why they're right. bitter. And that's why they're single, because, <laughs> because they're bitter. Absolutely. Because they're bitter. Um, and I have absolutely. to think about, and I do agree with some of the points you said. I can only speak for my, my span of being single. I honestly chose not to be in a relationship. I, I did not sit home alone. I mean, seriously, I, I, and I always say this when I hold, host the conversation bar. If I was at home, eight times out of 10, it's because I wanted to be at home. But Cam always got out. I mean, but I first, you know, being divorced, to take it back, I put my boys first. I, I didn't want any, um, I just wanted to put my boys first. So I dated, but I didn't bring anybody home. I wasn't about those shenanigans because I knew I wasn't going to be serious with anybody. So when I said I went out on dates. Um, but what's so funny now, what I didn't open up with, is that I just now dabbled in the relationship pool. Uh oh, that's so I, Because uh -oh. now is the time I'm ready. I'm right. ready to give me 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I wasn't ready to give myself 100%. But I was having a ball. Well, I'm curious. Being single. I'm kind of curious. Oh, yes. Help me out. Because I know some people oh. might ask the same question. But, you know, a lot of, and I'm going to say, women on this one because we're, we're talking about ladies yes a lot of women use the excuse of their children mm. now i'm not saying that that's you right what i'm saying is a lot of women use the excuse of their children not to put themselves back in harm's way exactly that's true it's, it's a, they use their children as a buffer in, in thinking that it can, that's their safety go, shield right and then fall back there's a guy who may say okay well okay i don't care you got children that's no problem and a lot of them will say that they do not care and then, and then, that you have they, they just happy you got children cool but we just want to share because if i'm dating you i'm also have to consider your family as well, that's already ready made. But I don't know about that neither though. Well, I wanted to clarify <laughs> my position. My position was, I don't see anything wrong with being single until you're ready yes. to find the right Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Because a lot of people feel like they can't be single, but at the same time, they're not ready to quit for a new effort and they carry on their luggage to the rebound mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, yes, I do feel everyone is designed for me. However, you don't have to rush into a new situation just because you're afraid of being single. And I think one of the things, and jumping on both, is that unfortunately, as much as women say, women look for validation from other people and especially other women, okay? And what happens is, is that when you're finding yourself, when you're comfortable with yourself, and then you show up for Thanksgiving dinner and grandma starts asking, Girl, you ain't getting no younger when the baby's coming or whatever and stuff. That validation. Well, I'm happily single anyway, and, and women are infamous for making up BS titles to make ourselves feel warm and fuzzy. Right. Okay? I agree with uh, what Big Brother Joe says is that, yes, find yourself. Find what it is that you like. You can date yourself. You can go out. You can have fun or whatever and stuff. Some women think that a trip to Priscilla's and some C batteries is the answer to, you know what I'm saying, everything. And that's not it because at the end of the day, people want warm conversation. They want to be held. When you got something going on, a crisis in your world, you want to be held. Now, as far as the children, um, somebody that was a single parent, absolutely. Because it's no different than saying you got cancer or you dying of AIDS. Someone will say that they dying of cancer and people will be 100% sympathetic. Okay, but if somebody's saying they dying of AIDS, people kind of start looking like, I didn't know he was gay or, you <laughs> yeah, know, what's really going on or whatever and stuff. So it's stereotypical. So you use your children as the buffer because that makes you a good mother. Mm -hmm. That makes you a sound mother that you put in your children as a priority. And the whole time you hurting in the back. Excellent. <laughs> See, again, I, I can't identify with that. And maybe I am that unicorn. Um, and I came from, and I, I always joke with the guys, I don't have daddy issues. I came from a very well-loving home. Um, my ex-husband and I, we're like, now we're like best friends. It took a minute to get there, so I'm not even going to lie about that. But I, I really say, I guess I am definitely the unicorn because I didn't lay on my pillow and cry. I used that time to put my boys first. Um, I also took that time to go back to school. I mean, I just better Cam. I worked on Cam because I felt like if Cam wasn't a whole package, there was nothing to present. 
So I came from that kind of background where you work on yourself. So I guess I am definitely that new. Well, I got a question. Um, mm -hmm. I ran across this the other day where a woman said her son is her man. Oh, oh, no. No. Uh oh, no. Yeah. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh -oh. Damn, there you go. Like, yeah, there you really go. No. I don't understand. I don't agree with that. Let a child be a child. That could be for a well, single it's going woman. to be very detrimental. And this is why you got all of these screwed up dudes walking around. Mm -hmm. Because a mother cannot distinguish between her child and her man. And they yeah. make the child a substitute man in the house. And so then what happens is, and she better tread carefully because exactly what's going to happen is when she gets a man and she wants to be in a relationship, that man is going to wreak havoc in that relationship because he now thinks he's equally yoked. He thinks he's in the position to critique or whatever. And the reason why there's so many damaged men, and I am a mother of one of them, and not embarrassed to say that, is we overcompensate and coddle our sons, okay? We do, and it ends up fucking them up for the woman that gets them in their life. So half of you that's laying next to some man and can't understand who the hell he is, look at their mama. Oh, wow. stop that. Yeah. And that's you that's know that. what? Because they don't want to they don't want to accept the truth because they want us whether one of the issues is that okay, that child obviously may look like the father or the family, so there's the anger issue, the, the visual context that goes along with that. And it reminds us so they become angry. Then you sit there and say, okay, I want to hold that child accountable and within the relationship and you try to sit there and say okay now as a child which way is it supposed to be and as a mother you're going to be confused in how you're going to handle the next relationship because for some reason you want to base that man off of your child or, or anything else and you'd be surprised a lot of children are and families are going through that situation now well you know what if, if you're doing that you have a bigger, a bigger deep rooted issue than what we're talking about right here. You do something. That's what the therapist is about. Yeah, that's what I'm shutting down. No, I know. I was just casting, you know, cast prayers to that, but I just wanted to introduce that that is issue. Now, let me ask you this question. When you decided to say, and for each one of you, when you say, okay, ladies and guys, from your perspective and dealing with ladies, what was the first thing that you said to yourself, okay, I'm single, what did I need to discover about myself first? Hmm. I know for me, I had to discover why I always ended up with like men. Hmm. The same type of dude, what was it about me? Because what happens is when we break up, we want to hold a man accountable for the crimes that we say <coughs> committed against us when in actuality we were co-conspirators. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I'm glad you said that because that was, and I don't mean to cut you off, no, no, no. but that was an excellent. I'm, I'm glad to hear women taking ownership of their part in whatever happened, and not everybody's going to bring a little bit of baggage into the next relationship. Absolutely. If you say you're not, you're lying. Yep. You lie to yourself. Right. You lie to everybody else. Right. You can go to the altar. You still lying. <laughs> but as long as you can take that opportunity and say, you know what? I made a certain amount of mistakes in my relationship and I hold myself responsible for them, but I'm, I, I'm working on those and I'm moving forward from those. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to hold Cam responsible for everything she did. she's perfect. Lord, <laughs> there she go with that. We're not going to hold that. I mean, you know, right. that's just what Absolutely. guys, guys and women do things totally different. We, and I, I almost slipped up and said, we don't. A lot of us don't carry stuff into a relationship or hold grudges the way women do. Now you know you all can be a little bit Yeah, you emotional. emotional. Thank you. Yeah, that works. Oh, I'm not emotional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to go Tracy. But, okay. but women are emotional beings in the first place. But the thing about it is most men go into a relationship with an exit strategy. Okay? Women come into a relationship plan in marriage. He say hello and she starts picking out dresses and on white picket fence and the babies and the kids with good hair and everything else and stuff before you know absolutely anything about them. And so we dive in feet first where men, some men, will tread lightly and still have that ace in the hole you know, to go there. And then, like mm. even go back with what you said because it's great that you said you found Cam because most women make the mistake of forgetting when you throw out the garbage, we don't go back out to the garbage right. and pick through yeah. it. But you will sleep with your ex 
when he Ooh. comes over to oh, pick up no. the baby. No, 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 no. let's yes, tell the truth right. and shame the devil. Yeah. Right? The average woman, when she breaks up with her man, will go back and sleep with him for some reason. And they bullshit themselves and say, I'm doing it to usually get even with the chick that stole him oh, wow. in the no. first place. You they know absolutely it's do. Energy. It's a five but to yes, seven do. year, it's a five to seven year gap before most people, and that's it's, it's documented, it's a five to seven year gap before most people will truly let go and forgive or get out of a certain, certain relationship. Agree, or agree. forgive yourself. Yeah. Totally agree, you will yeah. go back because you're in your comfort zone, as yes, you stated, totally. you will go back and, and right. latch on to what you miss yep. about that. We had a show, um, and <laughs> it's funny, because the show was, do you miss me or do you miss access to me? What could I do for you versus what can we work on together? Because of the other situation, you have to look at this uh, situation in the totality. What was going on beforehand and was it a give and take? If it was a one-sided, then you should have just stood friends or friends with benefit to begin with and not even got in a relationship right. because you know, it was only one situation, one side of it going But it goes side. deeper than that, Mr. LP. This is, this is one of the major problems with women. Women always want to know why. Okay, and that why gets you hemmed up because you feel if you go back, he's going to all of a sudden have this revelation and sit you down and explain to you, you're never going to need to know why. When you break up yeah. out of a relationship, you need to, and I said this yesterday to a young lady on Facebook, when you break up in a relationship, it's just like an unexpected death. You need to mourn that thing and then you need to bury it and put it away. We don't go to the graveyard and, and dig, dig back up. up a casket every time we miss a loved one. Okay, you have your memories, some fondness, because there are some good times to recall back on or whatever and stuff. But, but we do stupid that. things. We go from rage of tearing up your pictures and Bernie breaking clothes. the windows and out of your car your and car. stuff. Exactly. Right. And then sooner or later we're sitting there going like, <laughs> I miss these things. And then right. if you have children that's factored into that, because the thing about it is, doing that breakup, you have to be clear. He broke up with you. He didn't break up with those kids. And kids should not be used as tools and pawns or get back. I agree. And I wanted to address a couple of these, which is good. So um, the emotional part, I found out in my years of having fun, Men are just as emotional as women. I, I say lies, and I'm, I'm like, men are very, very emotional beings. And that's 90% of it is because they're 90% ego. It's all about their ego. Um, and two, I did, which I recommend, I think you said about, you know, trying to come reason with yourself. Like, you know, I did. I, once with my ex husband and I became good friends, I said, you know, just for the last, what were some of the things I did wrong? I kind of wanted to know. And then I apologized to him for things I recognized looking back, because you know, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> and maturing and getting older, I'm like, gosh, that was a foolish thing that I did. That was uncalled for. So I picked up the phone one day and just apologized for the wrong that I did. And granted, he did some things that we can't talk about. But I still <laughs> but I still right. But I still wanted to own up to my wrong. And there were some wrongs that I had to and a lot of it was because I was too young, first and foremost. Because I got married way too young. So I did have to apologize. So women are now taking ownership of some of that mess. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them. So what was one of the things that you see that one any of the women that you may have had worked with? I've uh, been in a relationship with, what was one of the things that they had to discover for themselves and while they were single? That they, that they had to discover for themselves? Mm -hmm. um, I guess they had to discover what they are willing to accept and what they are willing to reject. Um, don't come into the situation being passive or just being willing to accept anything that God do to you. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a verbiage, means the adage that People do what you allow them to do. Yeah. So therefore, if you continuously, if if you allow it in the beginning, don't wait years or a long time down the line before you try to rectify. Mm -hmm. Because we are we're creatures of habit. So if we come into a situation and we're accustomed to a certain routine, then that's what we're going to look to stay intact from here on out. How you get them is how you keep them. So a lot of women they try to get them and be grateful that they have them, but they really don't truly accept everything that comes along with it. Uh, that's, 
and they try to mold him. They have this molding mentality. Oh, I can mold him to do what I want. Do women, as a women, do men do that as well? I'm just yeah, curious. Yeah, I, I feel it. Do you guys it. think that you can mold us as well? Yeah. Especially when you meet a strong woman. I, you kind of just take us as is. Don't mold both men and women try to mold each other yeah, in I think situation. So. No. I think so. Different reasons, but I, I do. I think sometimes some people go into it wanting to. Some people do it subconsciously. Yeah. I mm, I disagree. I don't think that men particularly go into it trying to mold because first of all, I, I we are emotional. Yes, we do our emotions. We 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 don't hide our emotions <laughs> as well as women do. Most yes. men wear their emotions on their sleeve yes. and Very they true. take them out a different way. Mm -hmm. First of all, my emotions manifest themselves if I don't want to deal with it, guess what? I don't deal with it. Right. It's a period put on it. Mm -hmm. But that's just my mentality and, and, and that's the way some men think. <clears throat> the point that you made, I have two daughters, 25 and 23, and I taught them the game of the streets. I taught them the game of the streets because I said this, I didn't shelter them from music. I didn't shelter them from, not now, not that I wasn't a responsible parent, but I was a younger, I was a young parent. I was in the military at the time. But I had to teach them that, guess what? This is the game that guys are gonna run, ladies. This is the game that guys are gonna run. Take this and store it in the back of your mind so you know the hustle just as well as they do. Taught them how to do that, it's funny, as they grew up, one, heated, the other didn't, but they were taught the same things. So a lot of times women grow up with that mindset, and this is what I've seen. I can't say that 100% because I'm not a woman. Just seeing what I've seen around me. Not truly understanding or missing father figures, as you said there say. Or wanting that bad boy, that, that hustle game. You know, you think that you slicker <laughs> than a can of oil when I done already done this whole type of thing. And it's funny because there's nobody there, and it's partly the man's fault that their daughters are not treated the way that they should be or not taught how to make sure they can protect themselves and own up to the stuff that they do. Because in our society now, we haven't had those men in their daughters' lives. So I hold us responsible. But I want to go back to what he said because I was that daughter, okay? but. With great knowledge comes great responsibility. And I can tell you that that was a wonderful thing because my father called me his seventh son, okay? Because I have a dude's mentality. But it's also a curse because that same mentality is what destroyed my relationship with my son. I was too strong for him. I, I was too strong for my son's father. My son's father was a good man. He still is a good man. But I was too much woman for him at the time because I was the man in the relationship, mm, okay. okay. So I thought we it was two dudes in a relationship. Were you the man, or did he make you? The no, man no, 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 no. I was the man of the relationship because my father had hit me to all of the games of the street mm -hmm. and everything and stuff. And so, in having that knowledge, I'm equally yoked with you, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And it's like even with my my husband, okay. I was that chick when my husband talked to me. I said, okay, listen, all of the sniffing around and stuff you're doing unnecessary. If you want to hit it, let's just talk about that, okay, and get go. Now to some men that's like damn, but to some men it's like hmm. Yeah. You can turn men off with having that much strength and that much. But power. see, that's not even just strength. That's it. I think it gets miscategorized as that. That's not strength. That's just being honest and then oh, they're having a conversation because a lot of people when you have that issue or that conversation, all you just want to put out is honesty and a level of communication from as a single woman comes to a single man or in moving forward. And that's what's missing when you come to that dynamic. And sometimes you use as a woman who has a woman mentality, they'll sit there or some women say, well you just looking at this because I know the game. I know the game. But that guy may not be trying to do that. That's just maybe his natural MO. That's what he's just trying to say. But well, Luke says something I'm sorry Joe. Luke says something that was key when you were asking him about women that he encountered. And the problem is is and we talked about this, all of us even talked about this before in different avenues is is that we don't have the conversations. 
the oh, conversations man. that need to be had, the dialogue that needs to be had. Instead, we talk about foolishness. We don't talk about non-negotiables. We don't talk about our likes and dislikes. And women are infamous for compromising. Yes, we will compromise to death and then try to change the rules of engagement yes. later on. Absolutely. If you don't like cigarette smoke, why are you dating a smoker? Hmm. And then six months down the line, you want to talk about, you know, you really need to quit smoking. That's smoking getting on my nerves. Right, you should have right. never got involved right. with him. If you go into a relationship treating yourself like a jump off, okay, jump offs have a role. Jump offs are great ladies. They have a position. Play your position. You can't start off as a jump off and then try to be a girlfriend because now you're trying to switch gears of position and men don't maneuver like that. Okay? Well, it happens sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. It's, but it's like, very it's far. Yeah, yeah. 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 You mentioned something <laughs> earlier. You mentioned that uh, <laughs> men. Uh, egos with, with their emotional involved with egos. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say, my for me, that's not. I'm just emotional, but I'm, that doesn't make me any less of a man. It's not about my pride or ego. But could you say the same thing logistically? Say the same thing for women because a lot of women will yeah. say, "Hey, there's a pride to it." A lot. And, and I give you an example. When women dress out and wear a certain outfit and we know it's inappropriate or whatever, but it's not necessarily about pressing us. They do it for the other girl. Mm -hmm. they, they do it for like, I want to show this, I want to show that, and I want to be able to take that guy from her. I may not want him. I just want to let, let you know that I can have you. It's a competition thing. Yeah. Y'all do the same but, thing. But, but, but there's that. I was going to say No, I'm not, saying, no I'm, not denying that, I'm not denying that men do the same thing. But I'm saying that in terms of going out there for a relationship, does the emotion play a part in you know the ego preventing you from being in a relationship versus so single? So in, in in saying that and going back to the very beginning when you talk about happy single, okay, outside of our abnormal unicorn. <laughs> yeah, I'm abnormal here. <laughs> what is happy about being single? I'm not saying. I was saying, let me clarify. Me being single, I was a happy individual. Yeah, I, was, I was not best friend, right? I was not she better. I have my own money. <laughs> he said, I disagree. <laughs> you know, some girls are very bitter. You know, they because they're single, they take it out on guys. Like, well, you just joking with me. Why you not? Like, calm down. Like, be happy. Be happy in the moment. You just happen to be single. Be happy with yourself. The situation is the situation. But I swear to you, if you learn to be happy in your situation, that good energy, that positive energy, is going to come to you. All right, hold on. Let's cut, let's cut that for a second. Hold on, Luke. I, I got to say it. Go ahead, say it. Say it. Because go, go, I, I got to go here. Ha being happily single does not mean you're not by, that, that you're by yourself. I that think that we've it. got some... I think. You know, I, I think the folks, y'all need to realize, hey, guess what? Just because she was happily single, which means she didn't have one person that she was locked right. down to, exactly. doesn't mean she didn't have acquaintances options. or friends I or even I options. Without having a good options. Time. Exactly. I was having I mean, a let's, let's put that in the said, retrospect. No, and, and I got that, and she said she was having a good time. But outside of our abnormal unicorn here, <laughs> <laughs> Most women that are out there that have options yeah. and other people that they can call, one of those dudes got your heart. And you oh, use no the other one that. to compensate or whatever for the one that you really want. So again, you playing a game, you BS it. You trying to say I'm all happy single, but then as soon as dude don't call you for two or three oh, you weeks, you and your feelings, you and your emotions. So or hours. if your girl <laughs> call you and say he's seeing you, you can't be happily single and then expect to be in an my, exclusive sorry. relationship. I'm gonna out myself. Okay, you're recording this. Out yeah, 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 so going. much. You know, being in a relationship now, I'm I'm learning. Cam really was a little something, a hand to do it. Because the, the gentleman that I'm, I'm with now, he said, you know what? You are void of emotion sometimes. You come across a little too hard. You should just like, and I'm like, what? Soften up. Be, you know, be that weeping girl. I can't be that. I think that was my buffer. That kept me. I was in my own little bubble. So I was able to date this one, just date that one, and, and walk away not affected. Yeah, well, so that's not good. Good. And, and it's not good, but I, I still but I have some really good friendships. I have, you know, like, which I have to break off now because I heard that's not cool to have them as friends. But <laughs> please, I'm learning. Be a dude. We can have friends. <laughs> Hey. No, no, no. Right. Was he, was he just saying, okay, you know what? You can have that. You gotta get the girl to be happy. Like, you can have, 
Okay, I'll be single and get my bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, but you got no, your check. You, you can have that strong side, but you can still be empathetic. I was still. I was compassionate. I was loving. Okay, I was then. caring. But you was me. I was no, I wasn't. That's the problem. I think this is why I jack so many people up. They can't embrace Cam because Cam was mad cool. I don't know what it is to make you people happy, but I was happy. I bet you was nice, nasty, weren't you? No. You know what she, nice, she nasty was is? Nice. Yeah. From, from Boomerang, she was giving you them signals. <laughs> the old Boomerang. See? Hey, how you doing? I'm just saying, it's good people out here. Don't believe the hype. Look, tell me about it. Was anybody nice, nasty to you, or was it just? Nice and nasty. Yeah, yeah, or bro. or or the, the, the nasty or what's the song goes? Yeah, that was, or yeah, that or was, was it just somebody who just couldn't get over themselves and they just all about it's like, okay, you done, leave, it's three o'clock, you do too late, I gotta get some. She sleep. left your twenty dollars on the bed. <laughs> I like I call oh, you an Uber. Now we all have had that. <laughs> First of all, when I got twenty dollars on the table before, I just wanna just No. no, no see I was with Cam on that. It was just like, okay. There's a plumbing issue over here. Come and handle your business. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Gotta God go. bless you. Good night. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> a plumber stay that. But I think in, in all seriousness, I think that one of the problems that we run into is we have to stop looking for a mate. Yes. Okay. Because I found women. my happiest moment is when I stop looking and I just sit still and I just start saying, "Send me who you have designed for me." I agree. And then I told God what it was I wanted. I wanted a man that I could be myself. Yeah. I wanted a man that didn't feel less than a man because of who his wife was. Blah 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 blah. And that man came along. I think what happens is we start shopping and window shopping and we start looking. The half of us. Okay. Think about this. How many women go to the shoe store and see a bad pair of shoes and buy them and fit in the store and then you get them home and they hurt your feet? I give you one. I give you one better. People do the same relationship with the same estate they when they buy houses. You don't qualify what you can afford first before you buy the house and well, try to make something right. fit. So qualify so what you hoping. are straight. Exactly. And you go. <laughs> qualify what you are looking for and things like that before you start going out shopping. Not take something and then I'm trying to make it fit Absolutely. like a wood a, a square block. In if you a can't place. give it, don't ask for it. That's that's how I feel. I mean, you shouldn't be asking for things that you can't even offer. Absolutely. Well, the, the piggyback of what Miss Tracy just said, I think that's easier said than done. Waiting on somebody because of the key word virtue, patience. In the midst of waiting, man, that takes a lot of patience because that's a you don't know. That's the unknown. You don't know how. So hard. I agree with that. But look at the consequences. Everybody, I feel like everybody. I agree has with them, but then look at the consequences. You can't be mad at the consequences. Okay, if you don't have the patience to sit still and wait yeah. and to know what you want, then be woman enough to deal with your big girl panties on yeah. and deal with the consequences that you bring. And that's what I said when me and Joe was talking about being a co-conspirator. Okay, if you put your big girl panties on and you step out there and you step off the curb and mud Thinking splashes on you, you the big girl, yep. then be prepared to deal with the big girl situation. Yeah. So a lot of people say, I'm oh, sorry, sir. But a lot of people say women are just one of the reasons why they're single. They're just impatient. I want what I want where I now because I'm grown, I know what I want, I'm independent, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's some fine. idiot came up with this whole biological clock foolishness. Like they forgot <laughs> that <laughs> Methuselah had been like 100 years old. But you know, so we got all of these factors. We have my biological clock is ticking. I'm not getting any younger. It's like, okay, perfect example. Last night we couldn't find anything on TV. So Randy and I was watching the Shots of Sunset, right? And I wanted to jump through the TV and punch MJ in her face. Cause she literally she wanted really... to fight her dude cause yeah. he wouldn't get her pregnant. Yeah. And he's like, I want to have a baby with you, but we're both not healthy. You've been drinking continuously. I smoke. Let's get it right. And this woman acted the fool, and I was just like, I would never lay down and have a baby with this chick because she's cuckoo for Coco Puff. Mm. Okay, she That's literally wanted to fight this guy not to get pregnant. She would be that chick that would have a turkey baster somewhere, mm -hmm. okay, or whatever. That would be that girl. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, I have a quick question. And you guys sentiments of perspectives. Is it wrong for a woman to pursue a man? No. It's not the, the asking people me, say you have to no asking everybody. I'm old school. Believe it or not, I am old school with that. 
I believe that I believe the scripture he did find that the wife find is a good thing. So that to me is telling me, Cam, personally, take time to do you. You know, just if you focus on some positivity, when that right one comes along, he's gonna find you. I think too many thirsty people are out here, just too thirsty. But that's so I'm old school with that. That's for a woman that's prepared to be a wife, not a girlfriend. See, that's the difference. There's a lot of women out here. That claim they want a husband, but they still a girlfriend type and serious. But they settle for being a girl. I hold them accountable for that, not the guy. Right, I hold right. the women accountable. If you're settling for that, to be somebody's girlfriend for 10 and 7 years, then that, that's you. That's on you, boo. And see, now in that aspect, I agree with her because I and I know I'm going to step on a whole bunch of toes, but I already said this a long time ago. If you're in a situation, because it's not a relationship, right? If you're in a situation for seven years, okay, that's just absolute, and you don't know what's going on with this relationship. If you're still trying to figure out what's going on with this relationship, you're that's not crazy. in a relationship. You're not. That's you see a lot of those, you see how many relationships, normal or even in the celebrity world, they'll be dated five, six, seven years, get married, but divorced within six, six months. Yes. yes. I am so yeah. sick of that. I'm yeah. just like, that just makes, it makes none of the bit of sense. You know what else doesn't make any bit of sense? And I'm, I'm gonna go, I gotta go for Cam on this one. Because she made the statement and she used the scriptures. I'm so uh -oh. sick and tired that's of That's not my personal thing. Flag on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go right back at it. I'm being sick and tired. I'm being sick and tired. Of using a scripture because you make that point about being, uh, uh, and I think you said, what you say? Oh, I said one that I'm not fanatical. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. I said I'm old school when it comes to that one thing. I just didn't. Well, I mean, because I mean, I just sit there and use. I think that people should stop doing that. Okay. Don't use, and I mean, you know, everybody has their own personal opinion. Personally, I'm not a, I'm not a religious dude. I'm not. I'm surprised. a spiritual person. I, I, I was getting ready to say I'm not religious either, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I come from religious. one of the biggest relig religious families in Richmond. But that's not my thing. It's just not my thing. But I mean, that's the one thing I do hold on to. Scripture or no scripture, I, I agree that. with Joe. I'm gonna let you finish first. Well, I we mean, have... I was gonna go here because you know what? I, I... So what would you have preferred me to say? Because I no, 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 it Dude, you matter. boo, it doesn't oh, matter right. to me because I don't have to walk in your shoes. I don't have to be with you. I don't have to be with you. Know, yeah. be careful with I don't know. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> but my thing is, people get so hung up on trying to use scripture to back dumb shit <laughs> that it, they make themselves look like idiots. I mean, because I can sit there and say, you know what? Oh, so you saying that if I don't have the faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, I can move a mountain? I went out there and tried to move a mountain. And you trying to tell me that I don't have that much faith? You you turn scriptures into things I think that and might utilize be a topic for the another Bible. Thing. I see yeah, what you're okay. saying. I hear what you're saying, that. but you were asking my opinion, and I gave you the basis of my of my opinion. No, no, but so I'm not going to get into the whether we should use a scripture to support dumb shit. But I'm just saying that I that was took me just out of no, no, no. <laughs> I took it the way you gave it, but I'm not offended by it in any means. I'm just saying that that's I was thinking for me, for Cam. Okay. That's one of the things that I use okay. For and my, so for like, my and I'm not even talking about Cam, but I'm just generalizing. Right? Yeah. This is the problem that I have, and my problem is totally different than his, right? So my problem is is that we get these people that's like so holier than thou, right? right? And they quote Check scripture life, to I me, which I agree for dumb shit. But then you bend over a chair or a couch. Couch. or whatever are you mm. reciting scriptures then because you can't live holy one way yep. and say something one way either you're going to walk the whole damn wall yeah or don't walk it at all okay that's and so that's why i'm not talking about you what but I, what i'm talking about because i get women all the time in my conversations when i talk to them and they like they could quote me scriptures and they could tell me where to go and i'm spiritual i can't quote that but i'm like okay if your legs was up in the air and he wasn't your husband then i ain't trying to hear nothing about yeah, no that's, scriptures that's okay world. because we only want to pick what we want to pick when it makes us validate what we want to yeah. validate yeah. so let me unvalidate myself by just saying i don't believe a woman should i just think it looks tacky First one. I respect it. I, I don't think there's nothing wrong. Like, if, for example, 
He may be across the room mm -hmm. looking for you, but it's just a crowd of people and things like that. Hey, how you doing? Hey, here's my card, whatever, keep on going. That's not chasing. I think there's nothing wrong with asking out no more different. I think it's sexy, what? like if a woman goes, can you send him a drink? You know what I'm saying? And stuff look, like that. I, I, bring, think I that's sexy. Bridge, <laughs> look, look, you know I would have Bridge Jones in the Conan movie. Take him. I'm sorry, I'm my grandma's boy. Like, if you want what you want, go get it. Uh, and if it's not it, you, then you either go create it in terms of like work yourself out the beat because so many people go out there and try to take something, but you weren't ready to handle it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, don't swing a bat if you hadn't learned to take it on batting cage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't you go on out there, learn, take some swings, get yourself prepared. Don't think just because you read about it, somebody told me about it, but then right. you never go out there to get the experience. Right. So then now when you're ready, then you can go out there and you see something, I'm going to go take them. That works both ways. Well, Stephen, let me ask you a question because you made that point. And I know I talk a lot, but where I think that we as men have given women out to be single. And I... That's just because I would say that in terms of the mistake, either two things, the mistakes that we made with women in terms of cheating, and cheating or abuse or what have you. That's one way, and then the fact of the is that we are not making ourselves uh, prepared to accept the woman that comes around our way. Uh, so then, you know, we want this, we want this, either in front of our mother issues or our father issues. Mm -hmm. Then we want this, that, and like, I, it's like, okay, I want Cam, and thing. But if I'm not sitting up there, but Cam's not dealing with any BS, so it's now she's not saying I have to have money, but you working towards something. You got a goal, you got a pride. Then a person like Cam is going to take somebody like that. But if you just BSing around, but then I want to get better, but I'm not going to use Cam or the woman to make myself better. And that's what a lot of men do. And then especially in this topic, say, say you see a lot of women use the man to make, quote unquote, make themselves better. Let's give you an example. How many of these celebrity women or women in general weren't doing anything? I'm my own woman, I'm my own woman, but you weren't really making those moves. You got hold of some man, some celebrity, you got pregnant, got access to his network and or money, and then now you build your business and then you say, yeah, I'm my own mother, blah, blah, blah. But you weren't making yourself, you couldn't attain that on your own because you weren't so trying. I think it's so much deeper than that. I think for, I think the modern issue is, and especially in our village, is is that we don't trust you. That's the bottom line, okay? The, the, there's been a breach of communication and a breach of trust between a black man and a black woman. And until you restore that love affair, this is what you have. A woman will submit to you and become your everything if she trusts you. Trust and respect go hand in hand, okay? And the reason why women stay single is because they say, I ain't gotta put up with that girl. If I gotta put up with that, I'll stay by my dad going self, okay? And again, I go back to as long as there's a taboo store or a Priscilla somewhere, or you got plumbers out there that you can call, you can stay single, exactly, and not have to put up with BS. The problem is, is that I think it's twofold. I think on one on one instances, men have come into relationship what that were, let me go back. Boys have come into relationships disguised as men, okay, and have wreaked havoc in this village of women. And so now what's happened is, like any boxer, once you get hit a couple of times, silent, you woozy. You're not really, you can't get your balance. And as soon as you think you got your balance, here comes another boxer side licking you, right? Because guess what they do? They slide up to you and you go, you know what? You're a good woman. I don't even know why he would treat you like that. See, if you it's was my girl or whatever, I would do that because now he's praying, praying, P-R-E-Y, I-N-G on that weakness and so before you realize it he done slid up between the sheets and he done got the good goods and everything that he needs okay right and so then all of a sudden you start seeing his true character well his true character now is being recognized by the next man who like double dutch is waiting in the cut women don't take themselves time to sit back and go you know what uh uh enough I have, a, I have a question though so I know you referred to the scripture or to the Bible when you were saying that you know he didn't design or create men to mm -hmm. be alone. So what do we say to these two? Not everyone is going to meet that soulmate. Not everyone is going to be married. Not everyone's going to absolutely. Have 
So I don't understand. So when we say that, what are we saying? Because For these me, women need hope. They they need to not feel so down themselves. First of all, women need to be women. And they need to hold people. I hold everybody in my circle accountable for who they are in my circle. We have girlfriends that don't mean shit to us, that talk about us like a dog, but we'll go, hey girl, how you I'm doing? Do too, and we'll say, okay, my logic is you won't let your best friend borrow your favorite pocketbook, but you let some man get all up in your sheets, all up in your world, depositing his inner energy inside of you, but you won't let your girlfriend borrow your favorite pocketbook. You'll guard that thing like Fort Knox. If we start guarding this like Fort Knox and guarding this like Fort Knox, we would save ourselves a lot of heartache. Okay? Yeah, we would save ourselves a lot of heartache. But we don't want to have the conversations. You know why? Because if we have those conversations, we've been taught, girl, you better go ahead because you know there's some other chick right around the corner that'll get him or that he's a good man. Well, your clock is running out. Your clock is running out. <laughs> so there's always some negative that's being thrown at you. Or you're that girlfriend who all of your girls got a man. And you're the only one that's single. So everybody try to act like something wrong with you. Okay, so like it's like, feel all the time. Cam, you had a party last week. Why you didn't invite me? Right. I heard Wanda and them was there. Well... It was, it was a, a couples, couples only yeah. event or what like I couldn't find somebody to come on my own. And so all of these societal things get pushed down on us and we start acting in haste. So I go back to let's have missed it, I'm sorry. So when when we go again, when we go to the scripture about he created, you know, a woman for a man, that he should not they should not be alone. And using that scripture, then what are we saying? I'm just you a little too. I'm just a little lost because when I said what I said, it was a little wrong. I think that everybody so, has a soul. Everybody's not going to get, but they may not never meet that soul. But some of us there's have met them and let them get away. But are we putting up block? Are you putting up blockers. blockades? I mean, there's so many. We can analyze so many avenues to okay, that. Okay, watch this. Hold on, Mr. LP. Watch this, okay? I just don't if want Cam, these people to feel bad about Okay, if you. Situation. Okay, let's just say this, right? Let's just say. This young lady right here, Luke is interested in her, mm -hmm. but every time Luke see her, she got this deadbeat ass on her arm. Okay, <laughs> just deadbeat. Okay, he ain't doing nothing or whatever. So you blocking your blessing. Okay, a man can't approach you. Your mate can't approach you if you shacked up with Joe the deadbeat. And then what happens is, see, Joe the Deadbeat is slick, right? Yeah, he he slick knows slick. just when his behind is getting ready to kick up, right? So just in case of emergency, what he do? You know get, what? Get you pregnant. Either get you pregnant <laughs> or he buy or borrow some cheap-ass ring from somewhere. Something to validate you. Something to make you feel like, girl, you know I love you. And just as soon as I save up that money, I'm going to get <laughs> you. Or well, 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 introduce you to maybe one extra level of your friend. Or mom. Because women are so stupid. Women think that just because a man will introduce you to his mama, girl, I know he want me because he introduced Lies. me to fit. They'll take your ass on Tuesday and, you and take mine. somebody else so away. Never feel special. Oh, and Thank he you. took you to church. <laughs> oh, come on now. He's a, he doing say, Luke, let me ask you a question. <laughs> okay, and it's for everybody, but I want you to start off. Do women listen? Do and, women and, listen? And, 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm ready. I want to let you know my ankles messed up, but I got booed. Wow. Oh. But you know, by the same token, I don't think men do either. They hear what they hear. Hold on, 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 a lot of times what happens, uh, and no offense to you, you or any woman in the world, okay? A lot of times when we ask about, but women do this, the quick answer is, but men do this too. Okay, stop it, okay? We, we, this is a conversation. <laughs> this conversation is about the, 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 the women. Oh, oh, listen, now, and I'm, I'm saying that now, a lot of times they say they listen, but they either listen mm. with their mouths, mm. Listening to only how good that skin rubs against each other, 
Or they not even bother listening with the eyes, or they listen with the, I mean, their ears, but they listen with the eyes and think that's what's telling them what's good. Okay. Okay. So, and like uh, Joe mentioned before, there's all of the blocks. So I ask you again: Do women listen? Personally. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. 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 Listen to reply versus listening to understand. Are we they, thinking about our They already answers? have an answer yep. or they already come strategically prepared. I seen the day I was in the gym and it was a little piece of paper folded up into little small sections in the cup holder. And on the paper, the woman had wrote down what she's going to go home and discuss with her man. She had already wrote, okay, this is what I'm going to discuss with him. And this is going to be my A. What I'm going to say in return, B, what's the next topic going to be? And it blew my mind. I'm like, really? So they come and prepare. So when they say, honey, we need to talk, oh, that ain't a spirit of moment type thing. It's not off a whim. They are literally prepared for verbal assass assassination or domination. It is nothing. We can't, if we caught off guard. We, we out. Go turn on the games, turn so, the TV so, off, it's over. make sure you this turn around the, and look at it. Haven't you, have, you ever read the book, The Art of War? <laughs> <laughs> that is what this is, my yes, dude. Sir. When you, you do that strategically. No, he's not the main I think, I think that um, women listen, but they don't hear. I think that it comes out like Charlie Brown's mother, yeah. womp, 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 mm -hmm. because what happens is, is that, and I'm not going to say all women, but I'm going to say the majority of women, when men are talking, we don't hear what they're saying. If a brother is saying, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, mm -hmm. he's saying, I'm not ready for a relationship right now with you. Because yes. he's in a relationship yes. somewhere. No, no, and no, the no, fact no. of the matter is, is that if you're occupying I'm some of my time, it's a relationship. No, 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 when a man, no, hold on. When a man says, I just want to chill, put his ass outside if it's cold and chill or sit him in an air conditioned room. You have to get the parameters of what does chill mean. But when a man says we just want to chill, she thinks she's going to sex him into submission, cook him into submission, buy him into submission or whatever and stuff yep. and that, that things are going to change. And she will do it over and over and over again, yes. getting the same results over and which over is, and over insanity. again. Which is insanity. <laughs> or but they will do it, uh, and, and do it. And then turn around and go, what, why you didn't tell me you didn't want to be in a relationship? But he told you. Because he, told you. Yeah, he, told you. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Yes. Okay? And if, again, going back to what this queen said, if you are at the point in your life where relationship is not what you want, and Luke says, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, then that's real. You guys can get, because y'all are equally yoked. Y'all are on the same plane. Right. But if you know you met Luke and you like looking for a baby daddy and a husband and a house and all of these other things or whatever, you don't shut down your ears because then what happens is you're going to start running into that brick wall of resentment. And so now he's starting to feel suffocated. Yep. You coming on too strong. I told you I wasn't looking for a relationship. So he starts backing away and backing away and calling you less and calling you less. Yep. And then some men got to get blatantly rude with your ass because you, you still it. won't Just listen. To hear it. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> so Joe, you yes. Yes. listen? Yes. Do, do what? Do you really listen? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> do women listen? You know, you, you, Stephen, that's a loaded, loaded question. Because. Huh? What you say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I think women pick what they want to hear out of certain situations. True. I think they listen to things that they want to listen to. But in any instance, so does everybody. <laughs> nobody, nobody honestly listens really to what the other person is saying unless you are fine tuned and in tune with the person that you're going to be with okay i mean from i've seen it in numerous situations a lot of women's defense mechanisms is to keep asking the same question over and over and over again thinking you're going to get a an different answer to what i've already told you use that as an excuse to to continue to keep on going i mean no for me no means no if I tell you no, what does that mean? But that's not a good for a lot of women. That's not. A, <laughs> but for a lot of women, that no is not a good enough of an answer. Maybe right because uh, because they say, well, why? 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 And if you give it this, but then last week. 
next year, whatever, two months down the line, it's going to be a no for a different reason in their mind. And like you said before. But I think listening. in defense of women, we would be wrong if we didn't say, and we talked about this too, so I'm going to just use coach terminology, okay? Men like having cookie jaw conversations. And so if they can get their hand in the cookie jar, they're going to tell you what you want, when you want it, and how you hear it. And you send mixed messages. And so then later on, after you get it, then, then we're no confused. No. Exactly. We're kind of confused because it's like, okay, one minute we were talking about Oreo with double stuff, and now the next minute we're talking about something. I don't even like Oreos. Okay? What, what if you just want to have a conversation and it's not because not every man don't want to say have a cookie. You have a conversation, but that doesn't mean I want it. Right. I'm just wanna just say every man wants to get every man. Every man, whether your cookie is cookie or your cookie, cookie is dope. Okay. Every man yeah. wants to have a cookie no, job conversation. There's a lot of men who get in trouble because okay, you may not the woman may not want uh want him to have it right now, but because he didn't show interest, something's wrong with him. And you let a lot of other women say, Girl, he didn't ask you out. I'll give you an example. There'll be a, a bunch of questions. We go out on a date. The woman will ask, how do you look? How do you smell? What was this? Did he do? What did he work? What is mama? This, that, and the other. The conversation a guy was like, is she bad? Did you hit it? Pretty it's much. All those are the different things for most guys in conversations. A lot of guys. And the, my, the thing is, is that we get sometimes hung up on those stereotypical dynamics without looking at the thing, situation as a whole. But you can avoid that if you have the conversations in the beginning. Well, let's be honest. We're not having the conversation. That's the whole reason that's we're it. We're, we're not, not having going to the have conversation. those conversations. What do you think, Luke? I think in today's society, it's just not men that's looking to have their hands in the cookie jar. Because and, yeah. I done had plenty of women come to me straight forward asking, can we have sex? Because you so, have some qualities. You cute. Okay, I just wanted to make that clarification. <laughs> let's just make that clear. But, but, let's and, just make that clear. You, and then, you, and you on fit the on idea. The on another side, I do he got feel, tattoos. He look good. <laughs> on another side, I do feel like men. I'm just resting my arm. I'm just hitting. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you, do, you do have some, <laughs> <laughs> like you, I feel you do have some men out there that is in that mental space where they are looking at long term versus grat short term gratification. Yeah, yeah, like you do. Huh? That's very far. Yeah, no, because it's like it all depends. Basically speaking on for my. Speaking on behalf of myself. You're a unicorn too? Yeah, no, I guess it's so. just your circle sometimes is a little small, Miss Cam. Well, I keep it small for what? a reason. Mm -hmm. Mr. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a super small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Some essence is true because women are more assertive now these days yes. than we, we were. Um, on one instance, and I know I get in trouble for this a lot, but on one instance, the feminist movement was a great thing for us, but then on the other instance, it was one of the worst things that could Catch ever happen to us. Catch 22. Okay. Yeah. You want to burn your bra, you want to make the same right. money. I want you, want you to grab that door for me. I ain't you want me to <laughs> open the door yeah. for you? Now, you know what? That's good. It's I'm a, a girl. It's a I'm difference. A woman. Respect Treat me like a woman. Wait, but, but, but see, there you go. I don't even think no, 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 treat you, you like a woman. Respecting. Right. Respecting. Yeah. Respecting. But you say treat you like a woman. I mean, come open my door. I like roses. Send me well, some. If you were behind mm -hmm. me and I saw you coming, yes, I'm gonna hold that door for you. Absolutely. But you, you gonna know, come right I'm, over my I'm car well, we've no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he said, if your leg was broke, uh, and you really needed the help getting in no, your car. No. No. I said, I'll get out of the car. I want a gas. gentleman, is what but I'm saying. But you know, I've gotten in trouble right. where I've gotten out of the car, she was getting in the gas, I'll go out the pump. I can pump my own gas. Oh, yeah. Well, pump it then. That is. I'm not hurt. Everybody, everybody out there is looking at you like, you, you, you just so good, man. I'm not hurt. I, I don't it. like the smell like that. On the car door thing, I feel like I will open your door, but I feel it be very. Wonderful for it to be reciprocated and you reach across and open mind from the inside, the especially when it's raining. Well, you can't. Inside. But I'm on your side. I'm on I, your side. I, I, I agree. We, with we you. got a comment from the audience. What you want? You know what I got? Oh, we got to fight on the door for a moment. Yeah. yeah. See, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 And I wish you women would stop doing them, that. Like, literally. Like, I, I don't like literally attack them. Are you serious? Yeah. I can beg at least 20 times. 
I want a man to be a gentleman. I do. And I respect you for that. I'm not going to fight you. But I think in going back to that, I think again, we have to caution and stop putting false titles on things, okay? And what I mean by that is those are things of respect and esteem. I don't feel that that's something that a woman is entitled to just because she's a woman. I just think that if you were raised with gentlemanly qualities, qualities. okay, and you have a respect for someone, you would instantaneously open a door, push in yes, a chair. Absolutely. Those are qualities that was in there. Because then it's like, again, women, we send missed messages too because we don't want this. We want half of the gentleman, but then we don't want the other half. <laughs> okay, right. I've actually had a girlfriend who broke up with a man because he was too nice. And I was like, well, what does that mean? He always want to do stuff. He want to cook. He want to do. I was like, because she was into bad boys. And I'm like, some people are so used to losing until they don't know when they win. Right. Is that what I said earlier? So are we actually doing sabotage? He did. <laughs> Go right on ahead. Yes. Okay. Because I'm just listening to the conversation. And it's really interesting because I heard Cam and I heard Mr. Joe. And I think both of them made really good points. And then you chimed in and said something about women being more assertive. And when you quoted the scripture about being kind of a good wife, this because I think that a woman is assertive. Like, in this day and time, it's acceptable for a woman to send a man a drink, for a woman to walk into a man and say hello. I'm not going to sit on the side of the room and wait for you to come to me if I like it, I'm interested in you. I'm going to express that I'm interested in you. But I still think I'm within scripture and I'm going to talk to you because it's up to that man to say that you're going to be a wife, eventually mm -hmm. as time goes on. Mm -hmm. So it still would be him, the man, I encourage conversation. I think if you see a gentleman and you like, you, you think he's funny, you think he's intelligent, and you want to walk over and say, "Hey, how you doing?" Have, have that conversation with him. I think personally, um, and what I've been told by men, that sometimes women can be overly aggressive and it turns them off, and that's what I'm speaking to when it gets. To the point they think it's just too much, right. just team too much. And it can't be too much. I, and for me personally, I wouldn't be the one to sit down and get down on one knee proposing to a man. I think that's a bit much for me. But if somebody else wanted to do it, if you were my friend or whatever, and you wanted to do it, I would say, "Girl, that's a bit much." But if you said you wanted to do that, I would support you because you're your own one. Right. And y'all have y'all own, own relationship. relationship. And y'all have y'all own rapport of how y'all communicate and deal with one another. Right, and, have and I think I like I like what you said because I think what happens is is that in t modern society, every society, everybody thinks that everything is a cookie cutter. That what works for you right. has got to work for right. you, right. and what yeah, works for that. you has got to work. And that's not necessary. We got that. There's some f fundamental groundwork. But there's still differences and dynamics in everybody's household right. that legitimately like works for them. I happen to be that woman that before I got married, if I see something that I want, I was like Pepper, slip slide up to it swiftly. Hey, how you doing? You know what? And for the men that I met, they didn't feel less of a man because of that. They actually thought that was sexy and a turn on. And the key is somewhere in the relationship. The role shifted, and then I was able to fall back. I made the initial engagement, but then they were the ones that called and said, "Hey, can I take you out? Can I do this? You know, I wasn't hunting you down. Like, why you ain't call me when you? You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly." Yeah, there are some men who are meek. There are some men who are a little bit humble who don't want to be involved right. because right. they've been so rejected so harshly. Right. Right. Some men have been embarrassed so bad, and then when we say that women don't have to meet their soulmate, part of the reason I think people don't meet their soulmate or their mate period is because. We want to play gender roles and we want to get so caught up in, well, he didn't come to me, so I'm not going to go to him. Right. Well, I just. Like grandma said, a closed mouth don't get fed. So, uh, look, let me ask you a question. Um, are women difficult to please? Whew. There you go again. Come on, dude. Come on. You got to be ready. You got, yo, you got to jump back. Come on, you got it. Are they difficult to be pleased? Yes. Yes. And what yes. way? Though? Because, like, I. Give me, give from me, what, give from me, give me an example. Give me a life example and explain if you don't. Okay, mind. a lot of times, women don't know exactly what it is they want, but they expect the man to know. So I'm like, if you don't know what you want, Ooh. how can I dictate what you want? We are messing so with therefore, you. and then when I don't know what they want, it's an issue. Like now, you making it my fault that you don't even know what you <laughs> that want. That you mad? Yeah, so it, it is just, I was, I was let, thirsty. I'm let, 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 let me jump one second. Joe, are women are difficult to please? Can you give me an example 
Uh, you didn't give me a life experience example, but life is right, right, right. give me explain the situation. Give me a real life situation why where a woman did not listen and tell me why. <laughs> Wait a minute, you you why listen? No, 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 hard to please. Dad, no, no, you no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, because yeah, you was I'm sorry. I'm okay, sorry, hard to please. You yeah, please. that was about the woo. Um, a situation where a woman was hard to please. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It's it's a plethora of different ones. I can't hone in on one specific at this present time. Um, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> don't, no, no answers to protect. You know I'm a banker, innocent. right? <laughs> <laughs> no answers to protect the innocent. No, okay. no, never that. Um, oh, I mean, just to answer your question, women can be difficult to please, as Luke stated, because they don't. Sometimes they don't truly know, and they expect you to be able to be mind readers. If I don't have all of the information, I can't make an informed decision. If you don't give me the information, I'm not going to sit here and try to think about what you want. Uh, you can shake your head there, bro, mm -hmm. but you know I'm can telling you the truth. Can you get some stuff okay. okay. Is it my turn? Let, let me, let me, let me give a little bit of context. I'm, I'm like double dutch. Okay. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get in with that if she honed <laughs> in to you? I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, let that simmer. I keep her on warm. But the uh, the, uh, the situation I think sometimes what happens, and I can give you an example. Okay. If you say, okay, I need you to clean the kitchen and take out the trash for me. You know, I'm running oh, some that's errands. Way too easy. Okay, so you go out to clean the kitchen, pay the trash, but you did not use the right cloth that she wanted. That you didn't know anything about that damn cloth in the first place, or it was underneath the trash. You hadn't used that cloth in the last six months. <laughs> When you clean the kitchen, but you wanted to go ahead and get mad at me for not using uh -oh. that cloth. But wait. Or, or better yet, you use hand. your right hand. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, but there are situations you, you use your What's right hand to clean something versus your left hand. Well, I mean, let me, let me do this. Let me do this sometimes. before you jump in there. Right doing yeah. clean. Let, me, let me do this. I, I don't think that's fair. Mm. That's not fair because that's a totally different. In my experience, I found. Sense that that has nothing to do with the real issue is it's another it's another underlying yeah. issue no, no i understand that but that's facts. why i brought it up because <laughs> so we use that as an excuse to say <coughs> he don't listen to me he doesn't make, he doesn't make me happy he doesn't please me you don't need to be around and we're versus uh, all those different types of situations and then, yeah, uh -oh. with some women use stupid BS situations okay. As okay, a, speaking as a, of stupid BS situations you gave the good bullshit segue. biologist uh -huh. good segue to get in it Wait. that is such bullshit you sound like a dumbass okay oh. I mean for real that don't even make absolutely any sense with the whole dish rag and all of that I'm stuff just, I'm totally that, 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 that was the poor analogy okay first of all women are not hard to please okay women are not hard to please at all the problem is men don't listen and the reason why is because women are talkers women are talkers or whatever that don't get straight to the point and y'all ADD ass starts don't tuning out bullshit. after exactly. the fact exactly, exactly. So what y'all perceive it no what y'all perceive is bullshit so the dynamics is totally totally different because if you dissect any conversation oh. that you had she done told you five or ten damn times you just she, sold out no, and she didn't didn't listen. Number she one, hold on, let me finish five things. then number two where women make their mistake is Be they clear. try to communicate shit at the wrong time Halftime of a football game, doing the middle of a football game, their favorite boxing match, basketball game is not the time to try to start having this dialogue about shit because they're not going to listen to you. You're a disruption oh, to what is going on on there. Exactly. One of the, the that's one of the major, major issues. Now, as far as the whole dish rag and all of this stuff, okay, first of all, <laughs> go back to that. I, I gotta, I gotta I go back that to that. What he comes up with, okay, that was not my ladies, okay, what his ass thinking. came up with the when you told her to wash the dishes, I want to slap the shit out of you. Then when you said, and I used the dish rag or whatever, because now you started going into a chauvinistic role where, no, 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 it's, hold on, it's your kitchen said. just like my kitchen, so you should know what damn dish rag to wash 
the dishes with. Okay, because fifty percent of the time we should have bought that shit together. Okay, you should have known that these are my good towels. Every woman got good towels. Any man that's living in a house with a woman know what damn towels you use. Don't pull them shits out of the closet. Yeah. Don't wipe your hands on I'm them. Don't wipe your face I out of them. Okay, you get cut exactly. Get you sick. Okay, exactly. <laughs> get you sick. Let's just be real. okay. and I so that's what Everybody I mean. By, see this I don't. Video. I don't believe that we're hard. I just think that we communicate differently, and I think that in all honesty, if we can come up to a happy medium of communicating yes. with each other. Um, again, going back to the initial, what conversations are we having? Luke, do you like to talk? Oh, you want me to answer? Look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you follow what I'm saying? Because you have I know, I you know, have no, to I know that if Joe I'm interested and I'm getting ready to court Luke, and me and Luke are having the conversations, I know that Luke <coughs> is not a talker. So I know that I'm not going to get a right. whole bunch of dialogue right. back from him. You know what, Luke, in my last conversation, in my last relationship, I felt like my boyfriend and he never listened to me. He zoned out, so I had to da 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 da. If you have those conversations in the beginning, then when Luke, when she seems disconnected from you, then you could turn around and say, Cam, you know what, baby, I'm not trying to disconnect from you. I don't want to have that conversation right now. Or I heard what you said. Right. And you're right or you're wrong. Let's talk about it or whatever and stuff. But what happens is by not having those conversations, everybody wants to go for the juggler vein in the beginning. Why are your ass saying listen? Were you paying attention? And so then arguments come up. And then once argument comes up, we got to fight dirty. Everybody got to say shit that, 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 that start throwing yeah, jabs. Yeah, yeah. And I got to one up you and stuff. And unnecessary. If we had all of these conversations in the beginning because you got some men that are not talkers okay and I can speak from when you say life experience what well, my son's father was a very laid-back guy and I'm a very aggressive person when I get riled up or oh, we arguing you see what I'm saying and I got madder the less he said anything. Yeah, you be pissed you off see what me, I'm saying? Be exactly. Yeah. So, and that's that. And really? so now you getting really, really pissed off <laughs> right. because they're not responding the way you feel that they should respond. So the grand scheme of things, what you're trying to say is the conversation needs to be had, one. And two, you need to know who you're talking to as and who far your as your mate is. Exactly. Because I ran into the same thing where if I asked you to do something, if I asked you, then it was important enough for me to come to you and ask you. So in my mind, I'm saying to you, because I've had this conversation, if I come to you and ask you, it's important enough for me to come, because I normally don't ask. Right. So if I'm coming to you and I'm asking you, right. then I'm expecting you to help me. Is that to respond? And no, for a lot of women, that's Because the, the key thing to what she just said, watch this. I trust you. And that's what because I mean. Because I wouldn't have asked you to do it if I didn't trust that you was going to get it done. And, and once you that. don't do it, you broke broken my trust. trust. And exactly. also, I'm, I'm trusting you because I'm breaking down that barrier because you always keep saying, baby, trust me, baby, trust me. So the woman's going to break down that barrier. Okay, it may not seem to a lot of guys that seems minimalistic, but you don't understand that for a lot of women, Absolutely. that's all. Big thing. That's a okay. big thing. So now I'm gonna sit sit here and say, okay, to the, my friend that had the dishwash rag. Okay, <laughs> it was that was a small you, you situation, but like uh, I was trying to, I was, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to solve a couple dishwasher. of problems in the situation. <laughs> but <laughs> the issue is, is that what I told him was that that dish rag mattered to her because it was trusting you with her kitchen. You didn't live there, but you visited a lot. So go ahead. But that's what happens. You have to make sure you listen to them. <laughs> and I think, I think, like um, the queen said right there is and stuff is that for most women, it's a humbling experience to have to ask somebody oh God, for yes. anything, yes. and especially if you've been independent for a long, long period of time, yep. or if you happen like in my situation, I'm the oldest child, and the oldest child is always that one that's independent that everybody relies on to do every mm -hmm. single mm -hmm. thing. Okay, and so for me to come to somebody and say I need help, that's a lot. Yeah. I need that's, that's a, a lot. lot. But let, let, let me tell you something. When my grandmother taught me a long time, you know, and I've heard her tell my cousins and her daughters, and my, including my mom. And being independent does not mean you don't ask for help. 
being independent means that you're strong enough to know it depends when. on how you get your independence okay, okay it's right. a different thing because some of your independence is defined for you some of us got baggage that wasn't meant for us to yeah. carry yeah, but because carry. okay like for me i'm the strength of my family Okay, I've always been that person that I'm the go to person when they know something is wrong, they can come to me. Yep. When they need someone to fight for them, they could come with me. All morning long, I was in court fighting for my son. The judge thought I was an attorney. And I'm like, no, that's my son. I don't play when it comes down to him. You see what I'm saying? So we become the doctors, the lawyers, the judges, the fighters, the everybody. Everybody wants us to be our backbone. And we also hold our men down. Because understand this more than 50% of the time, the world is pressing on you and I'm your only comfort zone yep. to come home and say baby I know your job is treating you like shit I know the world is treating you like shit but I love you I got you and so now I said to you out of all of that the only thing I needed was this and you act like that was I asked you for a million dollars it hurts it hurts a woman when just like she said just like Silk said I got your back I know you're going through this, 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 this. And then to find out later you picked up the phone and instead of confiding in me, you said something to somebody else and I didn't know about it. Once again, it's that line of trust. trust. So when an issue does arise and we say, or you say, hey, can we do X, Y, Z? And your answer is no. And you want to know why your woman freak out. What you mean, though? No. Well, why? Remember that question that was on the floor? Um, you, can, can, is she hard to please? No, she's not hard to please. Let me tell but you. We don't want to hear no all the time either. either. No, that's and that's it's more when it has exactly. I mean, Mr. Yeah. LP, think about this like trust, okay? Let me show you how trust for your man, right? When I found a day I found out I was pregnant with my son, my sister was with me, okay? She was with me at the place. Mm -hmm. I walked out of there and my sister says, well, and I said, you'll find out the, because I was not going to let anyone other than my son's father know that I was pregnant first. He was the first person that needed to know. And she was with me on the train ride all the way back to Brooklyn. And until I found him and I told him, then everyone else needed to know. Now, flip that. I find out something and later on through general conversation, I found out Joe knew, Luke knew, Steven knew, and I'm like, damn. Where's the respect? See, that, that's where, and that's where the whole aspect of when I'm coming into the conversation here today, trust, respect, communication, and understanding, empathy, and patience. And honesty. And honesty. honesty. And that all comes into all the, the situation when you say, well, ladies, why are we single? And that, you know, peace of mind. You can't buy a peace of mind. You can't buy that's a peace a of mind. thing that people say. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to thank all of you very much for this uh, riveting conversation. Yes, sir. That thank you for you being yourselves, being honest, and sharing because all of this is very important and hopefully this message can reach somebody, help somebody. I, you know, people always say help one person. No, I hope this helps a lot of people because a lot of people need this. I'm not saying we all have the, all, all the answers to all of this, but we do at least communicate and offer some level of uh, contextual intelligence to go ahead, not just, uh, you know, unobjectionable imperfection. And we have to go be able to uh, lean forward. Any last uh, words, Joe? No, I mean, I thank you all for having us here today, Stephen. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the forum was great, ladies. Thank you for your insight. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I will say this. You know, if you shorten up your answer, if you shorten up your question sometime, we can get to it a little quicker. <laughs> Fair enough. No Fair enough. problem. I'm more than we than will put noted. a time clock in. Do we know that? Do we know that? <laughs> this is chess, time. not chess. Exactly. Uh, oh, I was playing chess. You just didn't see it. <laughs> well, so. Um, I thank you. I always enjoy being in this company and just having an honest conversation. But I honestly think that if we want healthy relationships, we have to start off healthy. Mm -hmm. We have to have healthy conversation and not be afraid to walk away. They, they may look really, really good, but I promise you, someone is going to come your way mm -hmm. that is better suited for you, whatever that scope is. And if you're happy being 
by yourself for now and date yourself and having fun and that's honest and stuff okay that's honest so i just think that we need to start going back to dialoguing with each other and being honest with each other and stop talking to our girlfriends and our guys and talk talking to each other luke sir yes well i just want to say i enjoy the conversation um yeah, okay yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, just sharing with with everyone, and my takeaway is like everyone chimed in on communication. I feel that communication is the foundation or the nucleus of the relationship. It wouldn't be such a challenge. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I enjoyed everyone. Good seeing you again. Good meeting new friends. Um, thank you for the invite. I, I loved it. I, I'm, I'm, I too believe in conversation. You have to have a healthy conversation. You have to work on yourself first. Because if you're damaged, if you're miserable, you're going to make the next person just as miserable. So get your act together. Um, work on yourself. And then you can just open yourself up for love. Don't be so bitter. Smile and be approachable. Amen. I just want to say thank y'all very much again. Thank you, our audience. There's nothing wrong. Thank you everybody to come out. Yes. Thank you to the Crawford Coleman Group uh, LLC for coming on out and supporting us. Thank you, Little Pizza, for allowing us to be here. Uh, say the name of your paparazzi accessory. Thank you very much, paparazzi accessory, for coming on out here and supporting us. I want to thank everybody because this is very important. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please give us a call, 804-220-9551 for Live and Global Media. You can check us out on Facebook and so many other places, YouTube, we're all around. Thank you very kindly, and may you have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye, everybody. When it comes to preparing for your financial future, there's no better time to start than today. In fact, it's pretty simple. I'm interested in what matters to you most and providing financial guidance, tools, and solutions to help you succeed. Planning for the future shouldn't be complicated. Let me help you make it simple.